My name is John Cleland, and I'm here to talk about the history of Cain. Cain, as you might suspect, is founded by General Thomas L. Cain, a Philadelphia lawyer who came here at the behest of a group of landowners in the 1850s and developed and uh, settled the community. Cain was the epitome of the mid-19th century social idealist. He thought that ideas could lead to action and action had consequences and that uh, he carried those out in, in his life. Uh, he was in Paris during the revolution of 1848. He came home and befriended the Mormons, even though he was a staunch Presbyterian and advocated for their religious liberty. He militantly fought against the fugitive slave law. Uh, he helped negotiate an end to the Mormon, so-called Mormon War in the late 1850s. And then during the Civil War, he basically, in a very real sense, put his life on the line uh, for the Union. He was the first Pennsylvanian to volunteer for service after f the uh, firing on Fort Sumter. What we have here today is in large measure because of what General Kane did 150 years ago. Wide streets, orderly laid out town, water and gas utility services, parks, hundreds of acres of parks. He promoted health care. We have one hospital now, but it wasn't very long ago that we had two. Uh, so medical care has been important. Schools have been important. He donated land for schools. A religious opportunity uh, was important to him, and he, and he donated land for all the churches. So the kinds of things that he did, he had this vision that communities could be livable places. The kind of stuff that we talk about in urban planning now, he was doing 150 years ago. I think what I like about living in Kane is that it makes me proud of the country. Uh, not because Kane is unique, but because there are thousands and thousands of towns like it all across the United States. And everyone is different. We all have our own unique clubs and festivals and activities and traditions. But if a town can come together when there's a fire or a natural disaster or the power goes out or you lose a kid in the service of your country like we just have done, that's something special. And you know, it's been said that, the, that the, uh, the history of America is the history of the small town writ large. And a country that can produce towns like Kane and other towns like it, that's a country you can be proud of. <laughs>